In this video, we're going to continue talking about checking equality in Java. So, we notice on line 6 and 7, we declared two new array lists, and then we initialized them separately. Now, these array lists are empty because we haven't put anything in them, but we can see the stack. We've got u and v, and the only data in the stack attached to those variables is a pointer pointing it to specific memory locations in the heap. So the value in u in the stack is different than the value in v since they are in different memory locations. So when we check does u equal v using double equals, it's comparing the data in the stack. And these have two different memory locations, so they are not equal, and we get a false. Now, when we use the dot equals, so we say u dot equals v, it's actually checking the contents inside the heap, and these are equal. They have equivalent values, so it returns true. Now we have to use, be a little careful using dot equals. Dot equals can only be used with object types. Also, not every object, when it uses dot equals, checks the contents in the heap. Sometimes dot equals, with certain objects, basically just does double equals. It sees, are they pointing to the same memory location? With array lists, it actually checks the contents when we do dot equals, the contents of the heap. But with other object types, it will just check to see are they pointing to the same memory location in the stack. Now let's take a look at these strings here. We made string w equals hello and string x equals hello. So we would expect this to point to two different memory locations. However, we notice it doesn't. This is because with strings, Java does some interesting things in the background. Since these strings both have equivalent values, it ends up saving some memory by pointing to the same memory location. Now, if we change one of these strings, it would not affect the other string. It would make a new memory location and put the new data there, and then it would move the pointer of whatever string we changed to point at that new memory location. So we can usually get away with using double equals when comparing strings, but it's not the most reliable thing. To be most reliable and do it most correctly, we'd want to compare strings using dot equals. So w dot equals x, since they have the same value in the heap, this is true. Okay, let's look at a couple uh, int arrays. Now, these were both created, declared, and initialized separately, so they are pointing to two different memory locations, even though they have equivalent values. Now, when we use dot equals, y dot equals z, this is not checking the contents like it would with an array list. This is checking to see are they pointing at the same memory location. So when we use dot equals with typical arrays, it's the equivalent of using double equals. And since these are pointing to two different memory locations, we get a false. Okay, so that is it for this lesson.